what's up everybody welcome back to the channel you can see i'm getting set up for an install here on my a6 today i'm going to be installing this uh brake cooler kit from ecs it's uh it was it wasn't expensive it was only like 50 bucks at the time when i got it it's uh these two plastic ducts right here and they what they do is uh they scoop air from under the car these connect to the control arms like that tw you know towards the front of the car and as the incoming air comes in this is going to direct them towards the brakes to help cool them off like if you're doing canyon runs or track or anything so help uh help you not get brake fade and uh what else uh these brackets right here i think they're aluminum with uh stainless steel hardware they're anodized black these are going to go onto the back of the control arm and connect through those two holes right there and i think all you need is a four millimeter hex bit and but i'm gonna put some blue loctite on the threads to you know make sure nothing comes out and this is the part number right there all right, i'm gonna get set up for the install and we'll be right back all right you guys we all set up here about to get started should be pretty quick so basically there's two different size brackets one wider and one shorter this is the control arm one's going to go on the wider part of the control arm and one's going to go on the shorter to fit like that and then the uh this is going to go in front of it with the bolt holes going through that there so i'll get ready to do that now Everything's got to be lined up. Just want to make sure you're not cross threading anything. I did put some Loctite on them. Type there. one issue already trying to get the tops lined up Trying to get these over as much as I can. I don't want it to hit this part over here. Let's tighten it by hand first. Thank you. 
Right, that's it, it looks like. Just don't want to over tighten them because the front part is just plastic. That's tight. That's it, it's pretty solid. Not moving or anything. See right there, it has this little notch right here because of uh, this top arm right here has a bolt hole behind it that you can see. So it has a little cutout for that. But basically, this is going to be on, you can see that that's under car air hits that and guides the air this way to the rotors. Only thing is, look here. I'm gonna have to cut this shield off so the air is hitting the rotor, but I'm gonna do that later because uh, I'm gonna be changing my uh, rotor. So I'll be able to mark this and cut that out there. Probably just make a line, make a line, cut it there, and probably right there because it's mainly gonna be hitting right there. It looks like I'll probably put a fan or something to see where exactly where the air is gonna be going. But uh. Let me get on the other side and then we'll come back and take a look. All right, you guys. Got both sides installed. You can see them at the bottom there. Got the brackets attached. Give you a little side view of this one. Just like that. Like I said, only thing left to do it's cutting this little notch out right here. I'm actually stitching this part of the video in so you can see how low they sit with the car on the ground. It's almost looks like it's flush with that, kind of barely still up, but looks like it's enough because the way the scoop moves forward to scoop all that air in. See them right there, but if you look at the fender wheel here, if you were to uh, cut some, you know, put some holes or louvers in that, it'll direct even more air at the scoop. So I might do that later. There are uh, usually like the S or RS6 version or a higher version of a lower version car, they'll have vents in them already. So I'll check on that, or else I'll probably just put some vents or something in the fender wheel to get more air sorry guys I had a car pull up got real loud but just need to cut a notch out of the heat shield right here where the air is being directed to get the full benefit of the air hitting the rotor and uh probably also uh cut notches in the uh, fender wheel right here to get some more air directed at it but uh Gonna let the car down later and see how low these sit to see if that's enough. These also come factory on the Porsche Macan. I think the Macans are a little smaller and it sits higher. So these are supposed to be kind of an upgrade over that because people are retrofitting the Macan up version onto theirs. And these are supposed to be, you know, an upgrade from that. Anyway, I'll probably do some kind of test or something later to see like uh how much heat they're taking out probably not gonna take out a lot of heat but make it more stable but uh anyway that's gonna be it for this media video uh it's time for some power upgrades i got some uh parts on the way and uh hopefully i'll be able to get some of that stuff on this week and do some videos all right i'll see you guys in the next video Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.